All right. Welcome, everybody, to the uh, first 2024 NISAR Early Adopters Workshop uh, hosted by the Alaska Satellite Facility. My name is Alexander Lewandowski, and I am a software engineer on the Open Science Lab team um, at, the, at the Alaska Satellite Facility, um, which uh, provides the platform that we'll be using during uh, part of this, uh, of the during the, the demonstration portions of the workshop. Um, I'd also like to thank the NISAR Early Adopters Group for requesting and helping to steer um, this event as we developed it. And so um, uh, special thanks to Kathleen Jones, Karen Ahn, and uh, Batuan Osmanoglu. Um, and I'd also like to thank uh, all of the attendees, all of you attendees for joining um, and taking time out of your busy schedules to, um, to, to come to our, our workshop. Um, we were looking at the uh, at the at the list of attendees yesterday and affiliations, and we counted roughly uh, twenty different countries represented. So um, we understand that a lot of you are probably attending during um, odd hours, and we and we appreciate your time. Um, we'll be presenting material that we hope uh, will help prepare you for the arrival arrival of of actual NISAR data, including some um, recent really recently released sample NISAR data. Um, these de demonstrations are intended to provide. Uh, workflows and code um, as examples um, that are intended for you to, to edit and incorporate into your own work. So everything that you see um, in the code is open source um, and you are free and, and encouraged to, uh, to please take that and adapt it and incorporate it into your own uh, workflows and studies. Um, and so with us today to deliver uh, presentations and demonstrations are a number of SAR experts from uh, UAS, ASF, and uh, JPL. Uh, and so I'm just going to go through the list and have everybody introduce themselves um, in alphabetical order. So uh, if you could unmute and introduce yourself, G. Uh, yes, can you see? Okay. Yes, yes, we can see you. Yeah, oh, oh, uh, this is Jie. I'm a postdoc in UAF. My uh, interest is uh, uh, radar remote sensing application in permafrost regions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. And um, Eric? Yes, my name is Eric Fielding. I'm a geophysicist at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California. And I have been working on uh, SAR imagery for many years. Uh, my primary interests are um, earthquakes, landslides, and other uh, geologic uh, hazards, and uh, uh, surface deformation. Uh, mapping. Great. Thanks, Eric. Um, and Rudy? Um, hi, my name is uh, Rudy Gens. I'm uh, with the Alaska Satellite Facility for uh, um, more than 20 years now. I have a science background in uh, microwave remote sensing, so um, I've probably covered most aspects of uh, data quality, processing, analysis, uh, metadata, and I will probably cover most part of it in the next two days. Thanks, Rudy. Um, next up is Andrew. Uh, hi, I'm Andrew Johnson. Um, I am a postdoc here at the Alaska Satellite Facility, and I use SAR data to study uh, glaciers and um, snow and ice, in particular surface melt on glaciers. Uh, so I'm uh, excited to have you all here. Thanks, Andrew. And Josh, you're up next. Hi, I'm Joshua Nicely. I am a recent postdoc addition to the ASF. Most of my research has been in planetary science, uh, specifically with radar as applied to Venus. Uh, and so it's great to see you all here. And yeah, thanks. Thanks, Josh. And, um, and then finally, Dylan. Hi, my name is Dylan Palmieri. Um, I'm a, also a software engineer on the, the Open Science Lab team, along with Alex. Um, and I'm not an expert in SAR, but this morning I am reprising my role as the official Zoom moderator for the OSL team. So I'm excited to be here with you guys. All right. Thanks, everybody. Um, and so uh, before we we kick things off and look at the at the agenda, um, I would like to just acknowledge the fact that we uh, are working and living on um, on unceded native lands. And so uh, here at the Alaska Satellite Facility um, and UAF, UAF campus, we are on uh, on Trothiata, which is uh, located on the ancestral lands of the Dene people, the lower lower Tanana River. Um, and uh, and so all of the these slides. Um, 
are available uh, here. You can you can grab this QR code. We're also going to provide this link um, uh, in the in the chat. Um, if you could post that into if you could paste that into chat, Dylan, that would be uh, that would be very helpful. And so this um, this workshop covers uh, or, or is comprised of of, of uh, two days. So the first day um, will be about four hours. Both days are about four hours. So we'll we'll kick things off with with this intro, and then uh, Josh nicely will um, take us through an, an introduction to uh, ASF DAC and SAR data, and then Eric Fielding will cover um, the the NICER mission and some of the NICER products, uh, and uh, Rudy Gens will. Uh, cover Opera data and some of the um, and some of the Opera products, and um, then I'll go over the the software um, or the the compute environment that we'll be using in Open Science Lab, and and uh, walk you through setting up the software environment that you'll need in order to follow along with all of the demonstrations. Uh, then we'll have a short break, um, and then we'll take a look at um, at Vertex and hype on demand processing um, on on the web interface. So uh, I'll show you how to. Um, how to search for data and, and order on-demand processing from Hype um, on the Vertex website. We'll also cover some programmatic access to both of those tools uh, in some of the, the demonstrations, but we, we will um, cover the, the website as well. Uh, and then Andrew Johnson will um, kick off a tutorial um, uh, dealing with, with uh, some Opera RTC products uh, with a, a focus on snail mo moisture. And then um, I'll have a, a, a tutorial um, covering the coefficient of variation uh, with Opera products. And then we'll have a, a short uh, QA session and, and wrap up for the day. And then tomorrow, um, you know, we'll have, a, a, again, a short introduction. And then Rudy Gens will um, we'll, we'll discuss uh, working with data in HDF5, which uh, both the Opera and NICER data products um, will be delivered in. Um, and then I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll give a, a short demonstration on um, on accessing and and using some of the uh, the NICER sample data, and then Eric Fielding will um, will give a, a demonstration on an SPS time series analysis using MintPy, and he'll do that with the Aria S1 Gun W products, which are um, NICER like. Uh, then Rudy Gens will um, will will give a presentation on subsetting data. Uh, we'll have our, a short break. And then G Chen will pick up with um, another uh, MintPy demonstration, but this one will be using uh, a, a hype, um, hype gamma insar uh, data set, uh, which you can all, um, you know, he has a pre-staged pre data set, but you'll also be able to order your own data. And we'll show you um, some additional uh, presentations that walk you through um, doing these same workflows with your, with your own data set. And then finally, we will have another uh, Q&A session and, and close out the uh, the workshop. And so um, before I, I hand things off to uh, to Joshua for the first uh, presentation, um, we do have these, you know, the workshop slides here. Um, and, and on this uh, on this slide, there are also a few links to the other services that we'll be using, um, Vertex, Hype on Demand, Open Science Lab, and then uh, the email address to our, our user services organization. So if you have any any general questions about SAR or ASF, um, that is a great place to send those questions. And um, also I'd like to mention that uh, that we will be recording uh, the entire workshop and we'll be hosting those uh, those videos on the ASF website. Um, those may not be available immediately. It may take several weeks for us to, to get that all, all up and running, um, but those will uh, eventually be um, available for, uh, for anybody to find and follow along. Um, and, and all of the code is, is open source and, and publicly available, and we'll cover um, how to access that on your own as well so that you can work through these demonstrations again in the future um, on your own time. 